Our generation has a lot of problems. It's a huge pile and at the top of it, we have energy. Energy is something that will always be in demand, so it's essential for us to set the foundations for an ample renewable energy supply so that our future generations can reap the rewards. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park is the perfect example of this. I know you all must be wondering, what is so amazing about this project? Well, stick around till the end as we discuss the importance of renewable energy and why this solar park is a big step towards energy sustainability. Without further ado, let us begin. Before we talk about this amazing solar park, let us talk about why it's absolutely necessary for us to develop such projects. I'm sure you'll all know how the world literally runs on fossil fuels. Every possible machine you can think of probably runs on these fuels. Sure, we've taken big steps towards a sustainable future, such as the introduction of the electric car, but we're still a long way off our goal of complete sustainability. Now, this is something that everyone knows, but still, a lot of us continue to ignore the problem. Sure, some of you might think since our generation won't be directly affected by it, then why bother? No folks, this is not about us. This is our future generation and humanity in general so that we can forever function efficiently in society. I cannot stress this enough. The stakes are high as we confront the consequences of continued reliance on fossil fuels. And the funny thing is, besides not being a renewable source, it also directly affects us. Problems like environmental degradation, climate change, and the depletion of natural resources are rampant and demand sustainable solutions. And that is where this solar park comes into the picture. The Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park represents a paradigm shift towards clean energy and sustainable development. So what makes this solar park so special? Well, trust me, it's a huge step towards a sustainable, renewable energy source and really sets the bar for other countries to follow the United Arab Emirates in making such projects that focus on the energy problem. Let me give you a brief overview of the solar park. A hugely ambitious renewable energy infrastructure project, the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park is located in Sayer Al Dalal and covers a staggering area of 77 square kilometers. Yeah, you heard that right, 77 square kilometers. You can literally fit 36 Monacos in that space. It goes on to show that, like many of their mega projects, Whenever the Arabs develop something, they make sure it's the best. Now, let us get into the specifics. According to various reports, the solar park runs on the Independent Power Producer, or IPP, model. For those who are confused, private companies develop, own, and run power-generating facilities independently of conventional utility companies under the Independent Power Producer model. It is different from typical models in such a way that, since they are under a private company, in order to sell electricity to utilities, IPPs enter into Power Purchase Agreements, or PPAs. These models are generally quite successful since they promote investment in a variety of energy sources, including conventional and renewable plants, and increase market competition in the energy sector. But how much does it produce? Well, the plant has a staggering capacity of over 4,000 megawatts. And as if that was not enough, they're expected to amp it up to 5 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2030. That is a really ambitious goal. But like they say, without ambition, you'll not be able to achieve the impossible. I know you all must be wondering how this project manages to produce all this energy. Well, the project encompasses a variety of solar technologies, including photovoltaic, or PV panels, and concentrating solar power, or CSP. PV panels are basically the solar panels used to convert sunlight into energy for us to use, and CSP is basically an ingenious method that uses mirrors to focus light into a small area, maximizing energy output. These two technologies, put together, ensure the maximum and most efficient energy output. This method is efficient and scalable, contributing significantly to the park's overall energy output. On top of that, the park's strategic location, about 50 kilometers south of Dubai, is perfect for maximum sunlight exposure, 
and positions the solar park as a key player in the region's renewable energy landscape. This innovative approach enhances the park's overall energy generation capacity and contributes to its round-the-clock renewable energy supply. They really made sure everything was perfect when they developed this park. You must admit, these are astonishing numbers, but let me break it down to how they achieved it. This ambitious project was implemented by the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority and developed in six phases. The first phase began all the way back in 2013, and after seven years of grueling work, the solar park achieved a generating capacity of 1.013 gigawatts. Given the task at hand, I'd say that's quite an impressive timeline. As of right now, the fourth and fifth phases are under construction and aim to add 700 megawatts CSP plus 250 megawatts of PV and 900 megawatts of PV to the project. Given their impressive progression, I'm sure they'll be able to reach their goal of 5 gigawatts by 2030. But that is not really what makes this project in a league of its own. Did you know that the second phase of this project, which was for around 200 megawatts, drew global attention as the winning bid for the tender set a new record low tariff of only 5.89 US cents per kilowatt hour? Those are crazy numbers. I know you all must be wondering, why so cheap considering it's such a big project? Well, it is a big privilege for any company to take part in this project, considering it's making history as one of the biggest energy parks in the world. To put this in perspective, this is about 20% lower than any previous unsubsidized power purchase agreement. Moreover, these phases play a big part in production, and thanks to a storage capacity of up to 15 hours, the plant can produce power day and night. Just imagine limitless energy round the clock. It really will shift the burden on non-renewable energy sources to renewable energy sources, such as the incredible Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park. Okay, so we've agreed that this project will play a huge role in tackling the energy problem. But what about its resultant effects? Well, you'll be pleased to find out that the environmental impact of the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park is amazing. Just by lowering dependency on fossil fuels, the park is essentially lowering carbon emissions and halting global warming. As you all know, because of its output of renewable energy, greenhouse gas emissions are significantly reduced, improving environmental sustainability. The result might not show in the short term, but in the long term, the environmental benefits will be priceless. But that's not all, folks. Did you know that the park's focus on sustainability goes beyond the generation of energy? Mega projects like these set the bar high and encourage an eco-friendly culture in other places, which ultimately results in the preservation of natural resources. Lastly, since they made sure that everything installed in the park was state-of-the-art, the application of cutting-edge technologies and effective energy storage solutions further promoted sustainability while limiting environmental degradation during its production. In the end, I'd just like to say that the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park stands as a testament to human ingenuity and commitment to a sustainable future. From its ambitious goal to its state-of-the-art technology, not to mention its impressive scale and environmental benefits, position it as a global leader in renewable energy. Moreover, I'm sure more projects like these will follow suit, promoting exceptional growth towards sustainability. As we continue to address the challenges of climate change and energy transmission, projects like this pave the way for a cleaner, greener planet. Before you leave, however, I'd like to urge you all to take part towards a sustainable planet. You can do this by reducing your energy and water use, promoting recycling and reusing, and most importantly, adopting eco-friendly practices wherever you can in your daily lives. I'm sure if we stand together on this, we can surely tackle the energy problem and in turn the environmental problem once and for all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us. And if you have any suggestions or requests, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.